anti icing and de icing explained in a minute when outside air temperatures are less than 0 degrees celsius airplanes are exposed to risk of icing any time there is moisture content in the air and temperature is between minus 40 degrees celsius to plus 10 degrees celsius there is a chance of icing at higher altitudes there are water droplets known as super cooled water droplets these water droplets are in liquid state despite of sub zero temperature this is because they lack freezing nuclei such as dust to support freezing when they come in contact with the surface of the aircraft they freeze instantly to form ice wing is the main aerofoil which generates lift if ice forms on the wing shape of the wing changes and weight of the airplane increases this reduces lifting capability of the wing and increases the drag as a result airplane could stall at much higher speed than what it would in normal condition hence modern airplanes are installed with anti-icing or de-icing system anti-icing system prevents ice from forming while de-icing system gets rid of the ice after it is formed anti-icing is achieved by passing hot air from engine to underside of the wing leading edges it can be achieved by electrical heating of pitot and static tubes to prevent icing in some airplanes like atr and bombardier q400 ice is allowed to form prior to it being removed it's done with the help of de-icing boots located on the wings if a surface temperature at any airport is below 10 degrees celsius ice could form on the aircraft surfaces it's vital to remove this ice before airplane takes off to prevent airplane from stalling just after takeoff this procedure is known as de-icing and it is performed by spraying de-icing fluid on the airplane surfaces before takeoff